I'm planning to do like a house tour in mm. Nigeria. A house tour. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically going to open up a mailing list and ask different people in different cities to email us if they want me to come to their house. Are you serious? And do a show. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. And I'm so going to be on the road for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it regardless of come to my anything. House. <laughs> we're going up north. We're going down south. We're going to the east. We're I going see. to all the major cities. Hello? Mons, are you awake? I'm awake, I'm awake. Have you checked the page of our skincare blog? I haven't actually, I've been chilling. Should they do give away? Like mad. Are you serious? So it's my work. Okay, so that means that we can just split the bill for one. Exactly. And each of us get the party here. So, so, so. Cool, right? So that's just one of the many things that I can do with Gomoni. Go money allows me to track my finances. That way, I know exactly what I'm spending my money on. So now, with the Go Money app, at least you know that you can schedule payments, split bills, track your finances, and send money to your family and friends using the payment links. So download the Go Money app on Apple Store or Play Store and bank with us. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Oshikoya Speaks. I'm still your host, Ona Oshikoya, and today. I'm actually excited for this episode because I'm a big fan of Bloody Civilian. But before we get into that, just wanted to say thank you guys for working with me through the entire season of Gen Next. This is the final episode and I'm joined by one of my faves. <laughs> very special guest today. Her name is Bloody Civilian. If you don't know her, you know her today, but I'm very sure you would know her. <laughs> but yeah. Hi, Bloody. Hi. It's <laughs> nice to finally meet you in person. Finally. I'm so excited for this episode, especially because I'm a fan of your music. I'm a fan of your work. I think, I'm not even trying to gas you, but I you. think you're so amazing. I think you're an all-round, I like to refer to you as an all-round creative with your music. And I love how you make music, how you want to. I think that's what stands out the most about the music you make to me. But Thank how are you? you? How I'm are good. You doing? How are you? I can't complain. I'm great. I'm chilling. Been it's been a long weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's been yeah. raining all week. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy, but <laughs> can't complain. How are you doing? How's been how's the year been for you? Um, the year's been good. This week especially has been crazy. Been doing so shoots. It's been three days already. <laughs> It's only been three days in the week. I mean, okay, my oh, week last and last week, week is okay. kind of collapsed yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah. but it's been quite crazy. Mm. So, yeah. How have you been up to this past few months? So, I had two shoots, three shoots, three shoots, three, right? Last week. Damn. And they were both hours long. So, oh, no, damn. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> have you had time to rest, though? Um, Yes. I, I rested on Sunday very well. I yes. pretty much slept all day. That's very important. I mean, I don't think people understand the need to rest when it gets crazy, but it's good that like you have those breaks. Yeah. Nice. How has the first quarter of the year been for you? And the second quarter now, but like how was the first quarter? I know you had your release in March. That was yeah. March, right? Yeah. So, so I'm so bad with special timing. Like, okay, <laughs> we're in we're in May. So this is okay, the second May. quarter. <laughs> So how was okay. the first quarter? Q1 was cool. It was stress-free. It was just kind of like discovery mode, uh, moving to Lagos, building a team, yeah. um, and Aww. putting out music, my first song, putting out my first song. And yeah, it was just like a really interesting Q1, I'll say. Mm. Um, and we're headed into Q1, Q2 now. We started. But yeah. We're still in Q1. No, we started Q2. This is the second quarter. This is Q2. Yeah. Q2 has already started crazy. I don't think <laughs> I don't think I'm lucky because Q2 I think is now a lot of work. Yeah. And a lot of stress, a lot of planning. Mm. I definitely was playing Q1, <laughs> but now everything is Time real. Time to sit up. Yeah. Everything is, everything is moving But fast. it's all for good reason because yeah, it's that. obviously as a result of like things going well, but yeah. it's actually quite stressful. I love that. Can't lie. But like, yeah, yeah, you're still looking great. You're still killing it. So. Thank you. And I've been seeing you killing it on TikTok as well. <laughs> um, uh, Literally dancing every day. Anyone you people see, just manage. 
you know, we're not complaining. I love this Thank song. You. So Thank you. Thank you. But like, I wanted to talk about your journey. So mm-hmm. Gen Next is basically me following the journey of yeah. like the people that I believe in that I'm very sure <laughs> it is, you know, like the next generation of stars, basically. Yeah. That is what Gen Next is. But like, how's the journey been for you so far? I know that you started in Abuja. Mm-hmm. And you had to move to Lagos. Yeah. How's it been? So I think like for every other artist I know from ABJ, we pretty much have the same story. Like you have to reorient yourself when mm. you get to Lagos. It has its own rules. Mm. Um, but it's been very exciting. Like there's nothing I've experienced in Lagos that's just mediocre. If things are going wrong, it's going hysterically wrong <laughs> if it's going well it's like going that. ridiculously <laughs> good and yeah. the city is just rush that's what it is so it's exciting that's like the major thing i'll say about lagos and also um i'm kind of inspired by people's um people's work ethic here mm. i think the work ethic in lagos it trains you to work with ridiculous odds so you're pretty much good to work in like any that. other place I like that. That's very interesting. So there's a major difference between Lagos and Abuja when it comes to like doing the work. Yeah, I mean, in Abuja, like so most of chill. us were relaxing, <laughs> like so relaxed chill. until we got here and it got real, you know. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, for a lot of artists, that kind of space is where they best create because then you can be, you can create things in your purest form mm. and be authentic. But like at least... Um, Lagos is like a very good place to get discovered and finally get like maybe if it's recognition you're looking for or if it's money the this is definitely step, the place to take those next steps I love that's that actually so real <laughs> yeah that's too interesting I know that like a lot of people that like come from Abuja to Lagos literally like you said have the same thing mm-hmm. so, like in Abuja everyone is just vibing not vibing but like vibing still and just trying to hustle but in Lagos you're actually doing the work like you actually yeah. have to because it's so fast paced and it's so everything is being go fast, so go go like go on the go <laughs> yeah that's very interesting that you mentioned that I know you mentioned something about building a team mm-hmm. how is that just moving from there here having to create your own circle of people you trust um so I feel like one major thing that I've enjoyed is in meeting and learning from people and also the relationships formed like you know, just on meeting people, you don't even know um, the future of how long you guys will work or yeah. how well you guys will work. And I think that's what's exciting about Lagos. You meet so many people and you don't know who's about to become, you know, your long term um, asset. Like yeah. someone that can really be there and like, you know, you guys can make things happen together. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But building a team, what would you say that like is the most important part of like building your own team? Um, I think it's in first and foremost, you actually knowing what you bring to the table mm. so that you you don't collide with the people you're um adding into the team that you're building. Mm. You want people to complement what you can do on your own. So it's important to like have that self-discovery first and yeah. know, okay, this is where my biggest weaknesses are so that those are the people you're looking for. So I think that's definitely, you know, the best way to build. I feel you. Yeah. I hear that. Okay, so what have you been watching? What have you been listening to the past few weeks? Um, watching anything? I, let's start with watching. Yeah. Um, I just finished Bridgerton like everybody else. Oh, I haven't and watched I it. Think it was, I think it's I good. I haven't had time, but I'm going to. I've been saying it, but I'm going yeah. to make time <laughs> to watch I think it. it's good. I think it's... It's one of those things where I thought everyone was overhyping it, but I, I think it was pretty was good and good? entertaining. Yeah, it's an easy watch. Love it's that. not hard on the brain, mm. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It does Fair. no stress. It if just... you want to just relax and watch something dramatic, that's Fair, I would watch that. for sure. Um, what else am I watching right now? I'm just. I don't think anything else is cutting it for me. Like I've started a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna mention what. <laughs> But they're just not working now. They're just not working. I yeah, see. I tried watching like some rich something, young rich and something. Ah, young rich and um, African. Yeah, <laughs> I I young couldn't get past episode one. But everyone around me is fighting me to watch this thing, and I'm I trying last my best. Night. <laughs> I've been trying episode one over and over. It's just too. <laughs> I'm, fake, I'm right? not making it over the fence. <laughs> I don't know why. 
it's too fake for you, right? Or what's the issue? I know a lot of people that watch it always say that it's just too fake or it's unrealistic. Like you're throwing parties every day. Well, that's the thing. I love dramatic things like that. I like I like yeah, messy things like that. They're very entertaining. Oh, you know? what's, what's wrong with this? One? But I think I don't know. I think it's just maybe my receptors are fried from TikTok. So <laughs> <laughs> just can't sit down and watch it. That's probably what it is, honestly. <laughs> You know it's, it's not even personal. It's not personal. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That is so cool. That is so ridiculous. Okay, so before we get into like you and your music, do you have like a word that just keeps you going? Is there that word for you that just keeps you inspired, just keeps you going and just anytime it gets crazy, you always have to just remember this particular word. Do you have that? No. I, I don't think so. Mm. I think I have a... Uh, an image, but I don't think I have a word. Mm, okay. I just picture a beach mm. and being able to like sleep there, record there, make music there. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like I'm working for this future piece that I'm Hello. working towards being able to, you know, you know, you can't, you, you can't, you can't be, you can't be an upcoming artist and live in Abuja. Right. So, but I feel like I'm working hard enough to go back home. That's Are you literally my goal. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. That is so. Literally, even Odumodu said the same thing. Like he Are can't you... live here. <sighs> <laughs> Have like you he lived outside of Lagos before? No, but yeah. I can understand why. I used All of to us go to from Abuja, Abuja PH, everyone from Abuja PH, Enugu. We say the same thing. Damn. I feel like the city Lagos has that bad. Le- Lagos <laughs> gives. Oh, wait, Lagos gives. But what it takes, Damn. <laughs> I feel like if you've lived here all your life, you might not really realize. I, like there was a time, like a friend of mine came to visit me in Abuja, and he was noticing the stupidest things. Like he was looking at rocks, and was like, "There's trees." Like he was looking no, because at the that hills. Thing, it busts my head. And it was too. until he said it that I even saw them. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Like no, because it was like, look at the <laughs> skyline. I was like, what? It, when I entered Lagos, I understood. No, because I can relate to that. Yeah. Like anytime That's, I take a break from here and I go to go like out. maybe Accra or Abuja, especially Accra and Abuja, is like ah, ah. <laughs> people know what this is. This is real. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like everybody really needs that break, especially Abuja. There's yeah. no traffic. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is so real. <laughs> yeah, I mean Abuja has its traffic, but it, it has its times. And it's times, it's not every time. <laughs> <laughs> that was important. That's mo- what's most important. You just, you can avoid traffic in Abuja, but there is traffic. Mm. But in Lagos, I, I, I genuinely feel like maybe like it's only night movement. Then if you move at night, then it's unsafe because yeah. of police. And yeah. I've had a lot of issues with that because almost everyone I know has like dreads or blonde hair or something. So it's not easy it's not. to navigate. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is crazy. But Omo... Um, I think living here, guess I've gotten used to it. You don't really have a choice. You have to be. But I actually thank God that I live in Lagos. I feel like if I used to live anywhere else, I probably won't be as, what's the word? As motivated or as fast paced as I am. Mm -hmm. I feel like my life is always, like I always have to, even when I'm I'm sitting down, when I'm not doing anything, I'm like, I should be busy. (laughs) I should be doing something. I feel like Lagos has definitely had that effect Effect on on you. It's not really a good thing sometimes, but I like the fact that like you can just keep me on my feet all the mm. time. But I like the breaks. I definitely respect the breaks. I so do you ever like leave Lagos for vacation? Yeah, or yeah like sure. to relax. Yes, all the time. <laughs> what's your favorite city in the world? In the world, or what's your favorite? Even if you haven't gone. Mm, okay, I think in terms of where I have gone, maybe Nairobi. It has wow, a bit I've never of, gone there. Nah, it's just so... It's not... I won't say it's peaceful. It's just as... Well, no. It's actually not. It's almost as fast-paced as they go. Mm-hmm. But like... They, and I heard they, Kenyans it, talk really low. That yeah. I've only heard about They it. are just... <laughs> they don't really have stress in that place. Yeah, they're very soft. Well, they're chill. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of like... It's still very, very fast-paced and all. But like I think in terms of where I would want to go, I really want to go to seashells. I want to go to Mauritius. I just like blue water. I like the lie. Yeah, the beach. <laughs> the beach. Yeah, I'm gang. Peace. For yeah, sure. I love that. I love that's why yeah. I was so happy that you mentioned mm-hmm. the beach. But yeah. I, I think what I find so interesting about places like that that are like African countries, but they are very different from yeah. like Nigeria and like, you know, like other places in West Africa is I feel like we're all 
the same people, but we have like different environments mm. making us like ma- manifest differently. So I take very seriously environments. I know that there's things about you that change depending on where you yeah. are. And it that's just due to humans, we need to survive. Yeah. So wherever you go, you, you have to adapt. survive there. You have to adapt. Exactly. <laughs> so I've, I'm always so curious how Kenyans would be if they were just exchanged mm. with Nigerians and we were taken there and they were brought here. Like, what would they be like? I feel like Nigerians would definitely adapt faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Faster, for sure. Yeah. But I don't... We'll definitely calm down yeah. in Kenya. Yes, yes. Just be yes. outside looking at the sky. And Chilea, you know, they like to party. They yeah. They love to club and drink. Bro, I went for a party in Kenya one time and everybody was drunk. I'm like, ah, <laughs> who is going to take who home? <laughs> Literally, everybody was gone. I'm like, Okay, you know what? Might as well. You can't beat them. You join them. So yeah, <laughs> drank with them a bit, son. But go for it was cool. It was cool. Okay, it was a vibe. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Let's get into your music. Let's get into what you've done. You know, coming out from like um, the Black Panther album. I guess that was where I, de- I obviously knew about like the name Bloody Civilian. How was mm. that? How was working on that? First of all, I mean, it was definitely life changing mm. um, because yeah. it was. My first big thing that I ever did, um, and it was, I was very nervous, Mm. like, going in, because I was about to meet this, you know, like, the guy who does the scoring for, like, all the big movies I know, and also work with him in real time, which is crazy, because (laughs) I felt like I haven't even um, made a beat with the producers I look up to in night. so being able to work with this guy, it was just, like, or more, this jump is crazy. Yeah. Um, but when I went there, um, everyone was really cool. The environment, everyone was just there ready to work and vibe. And it didn't feel like forced. Mm. So it was lovely. definitely lovely. <laughs> but how's it been since then? Since mm-hmm. then, between then and How to Kill a Man, how was, mm-hmm. what was that? Specific? Honestly, Did you feel pressure to obviously outdo yourself? Honestly, it's just been a crazy journey. Like, you have to understand... Imagine the kind of fans you gather off of songs like mine. <laughs> Everything, every time I open my phone and I get a notification, it is some exciting shit. <laughs> like, I'm always like in the kitchen I showing people that. like, look at this, look like, at what someone said, look at that. Because honestly, everyone that I've even discovered online that I haven't even met is just different in their own kind of way yeah. so it's just exciting i think like ever since black panther which obviously was a large platform going into how to kill a man mm-hmm. and you know i don't like you i've it's just it's just been wild yeah, <laughs> coaster. yeah i love that but that's that's part of the that's that's the journey right mm-hmm. <laughs> and mm-hmm. i love that i love that okay how was how was i know that like you do a lot of you let me mm-hmm. put it like that. Like you just like to experiment and just do your thing, and somehow it works. Mm-hmm. How would you say? Like how do you, how do you create music? How do you make music? Um. So I'm definitely um, my style is definitely composition based. Like I mm. make things from scratch out of nowhere. Often, sometimes I might be humming a tune, you know, like over and over, and I'm like, okay, I'll record it into a voice note. And then try and find the chords on guitar. And then from there, I f- try to decide, okay, what genre do I even want to make this song into? Then from then on, I start, you know, making the beats, jam some things together, see how it sounds and go from there. That's like my process all the time. And which means it usually starts from lyrics first. Mm. Um, so for me, the message of the song comes first all the time. I don't think... I'm very bad at vibing <laughs> Bro, it's the hardest thing i know i know so many people i've met that can hear a beat and just listen to it and just start singing one hit song or something and for me that's i can't create anything like that you have the, to the song comes then a tune is repeating and then i try to as like kind of catch the idea and make it a, a thing but do you think that like the, you, do you think you have that process because you produce as well um, I think I produce because I have that mm. process. Okay. Yeah, because... Okay, so when I was a kid, yeah, in Abuja, 
my mom would take me to like these studios around town and say, oh, my daughter makes music and Aww. she'll pay people, you know, 10k, 15k. She didn't really invest. <laughs> 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 to so, like, you know, hash out a beat for me. And most people couldn't come to terms with the fact that this kid was able to like, from instrumentation to melody to drums to rhythm and everything, figure out, they. I think they felt kind of like, okay, so what's my job here? Mm. You know, and I think that's where things kind of started for me. I just out of that, I just realized, look, if I want to create the things that are in my head, I can't go to somebody else's lab. <laughs> I have to have my own. You have to, yeah. Um, and so production started for me like at 14. I was just experimenting in school. And then I eventually just started making my own beats. Mm. OK, that's really interesting. I think... Like I said earlier, I, I like to refer to you as like an all-round creative because you produce, you sing, you write as well, you compose, like you said. And I heard that you also edit videos. You, you yeah, know? I edit my stuff myself. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm going to call you a creative director as well because what don't you do? <laughs> yeah, somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how is that like? What's, I don't want to say, I don't want to ask if that's a lot of pressure, but I feel mm -hmm. like there might be some sort of pressure with that. Mm. But like, in terms of working with other people, how is that? Do you find it easy to work with people? Do you find it hard to work with people? Um, working with people, I feel, is easier because one, there's more hands, mm. less stress. And then you finally are able to get the professionals to do what it is, you know? Like, have you seen a kid try to draw a tree versus <laughs> an a painter yeah, tried to draw a tree. Yeah. I'll draw the tree. <laughs> <laughs> but you might not know where the leaf is. <laughs> so so I think it's it's quite interesting now. Like all the things I was trying to do that worked for someone who's like on their own independent. Now that I have the team around me and the label and like, you know, so many things that are coming together to help me push forward. Yeah. I feel like things are now starting to take form and look closer to the tree that yeah. I was trying to draw. Trying to draw. Yeah. But now you have like, you can draw the tree better at least yes, exactly. <laughs> by yourself. Exactly. Do you have, do you sometimes have to deal with, I feel like everybody does, but like, mm. do you sometimes have to deal with like imposter syndrome just because of how, I feel like the more creative you are, the the worse the syndrome, even the imposter syndrome mm -hmm. even is. So I'm guessing like, how do you deal with that? At first the beginning, I'll say yes. I definitely felt like, what am I even doing here? But then, have you ever gotten scammed before? <laughs> like, have you ever gotten scammed in this business, like Ugh. podcasting, where someone comes in with their full chest, <laughs> tells you, I'm going to bring this specific type of mic. Yes, yes. And then they come yes, with like, yes. literally like Selling a blow dryer <laughs> or something crazy. Yeah. So I think after being in here and seeing that most people don't really like, no, if, you, if you've been doing, if you've been doing what has been working for you all this while, mm. you probably know what you're doing. Fair enough. And it doesn't even matter if it's only your guys in school that know you. Like if you've been doing it like that and it's been inspiring someone, somewhere you know what you're doing, and it's just to grow. Growth is for everyone. I think even for the big people, they're they're looking down at the younger people, wanting to know, okay, what's the new. What's next? What's, what's next? Exactly. So everyone's growing. Mm. Um, and it's not linear. Um, it's like you can Anyhow. go up, down, <laughs> sideways, it, just it, grow, yeah. you know, learn more stuff. So I think imposter syndrome is a sin, <laughs> personally. <laughs> I don't think I have any business with it. And like, I, I just that. don't really have that. I'm okay with failing. Like if I try something and it doesn't work, it's fine. I love that. Yeah. That's very inspiring. I love that. I needed to hear that actually. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I really, really, really love what you do. I really love how you tell your own stories and how you, you know, drag men. Basically, <laughs> you actually have serious hatred for men. <laughs> um, how do I put this? I feel like um, we, it's 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 like when people give criticism it's not about hate right mm. it's just about feedback um the dragging only happens when you don't take the feedback <laughs> properly so um i'll say no 
for mm-hmm. sure. It's just like an environment. I work with men too. Yeah. I work with women. I feel like there are <laughs> women that are dicks. There are men that are dicks. Yeah, you know, it, for sure. Being a dick doesn't discriminate, you know. But I will say... Am I allowed to say dick on the podcast? Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will say though that um if a woman is a dick and a man is a dick, she has like two seconds before the whole world caves in on her. So we're being held to like a higher standard in mm. general. You know, like at home, you know, even being a female producer trying to make beats, I cannot knock one or two percussion before. I must say plates or something. You know what I mean? Like, or family members asking, why are you letting her do this? Why are you letting her do that? Go out alone, go out late at night, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of it is like, even if your family is ready to support you, which I knew how to, you know, navigate my parents. You know, I knew the the right things to say, (laughs) you know, the right way to, yeah. But the moment certain people would just come and get involved, like, family or like extended family it will just get complicated because obviously you know things are tough for nigerian women <laughs> and women from the north yeah. most especially i feel um there's just this notion that we're not really allowed to do like so many things outside of what they feel we should be doing um so yeah there's there's a lot to be like upset about mm. um in terms of like women's place generally um and i think talking about it it's funny, but mm. like the stats on the song is like majority guys that are listening, which is a very good thing because I'm not preaching to women. Like they <laughs> never had, it was never their problem. It's yeah. not their burden to carry. Yeah, I think um, feminism, I feel, is something where we should focus on young boys and, you know, even like old men too. Like you can still teach old people yeah, new yeah, tricks, sure. right? Um, but mainly the youth because they're the future and yeah. I feel like we should teach them the right things so that women don't have to be feminists mm. I'm not trying to give birth to a feminist mm. okay. I'm not trying to give birth to any woke child <laughs> in anything people should just get their shit together and stop oppressing other groups other of people, people for whatever reason it's, mm. it is you know yeah. So yeah, that's my general opinion. Just general opinion. I love that. It's very, very important. We should be preaching these things. These are the important things. <laughs> these are the things that people need to hear. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love. I love that you do. Like you have a way, like I said, to tell your own story and to like pass your own message, and you do it how you want to. You know how anybody else wants you to do it. I think the first time I heard, um, I don't like you. I was at Shinies. <laughs> I guess you had just sent it to me, but I was working at Native at the time. So oh. he w- we had a meeting and he played his song on the speaker and all of that. And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> who can this even be? And he's like, oh, that's bloody blah, blah, blah. I'm just like... And it just stuck from the first time I heard the, the song. Like, this is what you were trying to say. This is who you're trying to talk to. This is, are the people that you're actually trying to like communicate with. And it's so interesting that you mentioned that like, it is not the woman's problem. It is not my issue, you know, like you. <laughs> exactly. It's on my cross to carry. Yeah, exactly. So mm. everybody just needs to, like you said, get their shit together and do what they have to do. Mm. I love that. So where are you at right now? What are you doing right now? What are you, what are you expecting the next, how many months? I think nine months in the year. Mm. Where are you, how is it, what, how is it looking? What are you, ex- what are you hoping to do? So right now, I'm planning, um, obviously, my EP is coming up. Yay. And that's very exciting. (laughs) Yay. (laughs) But most stressfully and excitingly, (laughs) I'm planning to do like a house tour in Mm. Nigeria. A house tour? Mm -hmm. So I'm basically going to open up a mailing list and ask different people in different cities to email us if they want me to come to their house. Are you serious? And do a show. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That and I'm so going to be on the road for like two weeks. And we're going to do it regardless of anything. <laughs> we're going up north. We're going down south. We're going to the east. We're Why going to all the major cities. I mm-hmm. love that. Mm-hmm. What's, what, what's the idea behind that? Why do you want to do that? The idea behind it is, the truth of the matter is, I really, I just don't like TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I can't say it's it any surreal. other way. I'm just tired. <laughs> the, 
I <laughs> listen, my phone is starting to fry my brain. <laughs> I can't lie. And then moving to Lagos is it's not like Abuja where okay, you get tired of your phone, you drop it, you go outside and touch a tree or something, <laughs> you know, like go and just yeah. cool your head. No, like it's like when I look outside my window. It's like houses jam packed and there's no space. No space. Or I'll come outside and I'm in my um, neighbor's parking lot. So I think one major thing I want to do is actually just travel Nigeria mm. and actually just experience cultures and like rather than connecting with people online, I want to connect in person. In person. Like I want to actually meet people. Um, I'm not selling tickets. I'm not doing any kind of like it's not for money. I just genuinely want to meet people, people and I feel like it would be a very cool way. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's a very different idea, very new, and very. It's a nice way to bring back the the what's it called Old traditional tour, yeah. tourists. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You're going to go to the North as well. Mm-hmm. How was it like growing up in the North though? Did you grow up in the North? I mean, Abuja, growing up in of. Abuja. Short link to Kaduna and then short link to Joss where I schooled. The North was like a huge part of ev- like my upbringing, right? Because Abuja is in the North. Yeah. Um, My mom's from KD. Mm. My dad's from Taraba. Um, and then I schooled in Joss. So I was oh. really just there. <laughs> up up there. Um, I feel like there's there's definitely like good things and bad things. Like I said women are held to a different standard, especially mm-hmm. up north. It's a very different thing. I feel like um, where you guys draw the line for that Ashawu mark to enter is a different line for us up there. Wow. DJ is Ashawu in the north. <sighs> Female DJ. Are you serious? Female m- musician. Mm, it depends on what you're singing. <laughs> you're singing in the church. Could be Ashawu. <sighs> Do you get what I'm saying? So it's a very, very like different it's a very different environment very different ideology people think differently they act differently um and i think a lot of the things that they do are to a very a certain extreme i'm really grateful that at the least i was a little you know like yeah, abuja was, gonna... was a little like at least you know we just breathe small <laughs> it's just christmas visit people all this stuff but other than that at least you know i could I have my own set apart upbringing where my parents really could protect me from mm. things, but they couldn't protect me from everything. Of right? course, they um, tried. From the things you hear from people's aunties and the things <laughs> that you see yourself. Yeah. Um, but I will say that it's also beautiful in the sense that the North has its own kind of modest way of being special. Mm. Like... People's concepts of loyalty and honesty is different in the North. Um, there was a time I was in AKK and I dropped a word of cash and my phone. And the guy drove back from far to bring it back hmm. to where I was standing. Can never, ever give, <laughs> be Lagos. It can ne- literally can <laughs> never be Lagos. Can never be Because Lagos, I went to a show and... There were guys walking past me and they kind of like, I don't know. I was just moving. They were just tapping me both sides. I so I didn't really know anything was happening. I just kind of thought they were passing and like we were bumping into each mm. other. Trying I just to touch phone. my phone. It had gone? Phew. Are you serious? Bruh. And what I was like, fuck? <laughs> I had to start. Look, I was impressed. <laughs> I was a little impressed, but I was also Respect very disappointed because I felt like a very foolish human being. Like, you know when someone just makes you into He's this movie? Like, bro, I was just like, God, my friend. That is so ridiculous. <laughs> it was this time I was coming back. From, I, I I didn't even go for the concert. It's even the worst part. It was Whiskey's concert in 2018, <laughs> 20, I can't remember. But I was walking. I was trying to find my friend because my friend went and I was just not doing that that night. I was typing. Someone tried to snatch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> people don't even why you t- <laughs> while I was typing I'm that like, doesn't make sense now why don't even care they should have waited for you to they, pocket it they tried to drag it from my hand it oh just God. my phone was just tired in my hand. since that day when I'm typing I don't even type when I'm walking again. when I, if I have to type I'm holding it with two hands and I'm <laughs> typing and I'm putting it back in my pocket when I, once I'm done it's so ridiculous oh God. like the way it was still from you think <laughs> you are the problem in <laughs> fact <laughs> Nah, They're Lagos really is wild. Lagos is a crazy, it's a very, very different scene compared to like what you're saying. And I'm very, mm-hmm. like, it's very nice to hear a very different perspective in terms of like the North and things. Mm-hmm. I love that. 
But like, when I say I, I'm very like, well, I would say proud, but like I'm very happy with like how your parents basically made you. You know what's no, <laughs> no. Yeah. But would you say that like you obviously I feel like you did, but like would you say that you personally also had that that idea that you know no this is not the person I want to be. This is I'm not this guy. Mm-hmm. This is who I am, and this is how I want to be. Yeah, like honestly, I feel like I had just by way of my upbringing for me to even exist. You can imagine how stubborn I kind of have to be. <laughs> It's impossible to not be stubborn and to exist as how I am now. Um, And I think it's funny how a lot of people think this term like crazy manifests as, oh, I'm going to come and be screaming. Mm -mm. I'm already crazy where I'm from. I don't need to be more crazy. I appear to be modest now, like in a kind of way to people. But I'm actually really not. I had like a lot of things that had to pull me out of the environment I was in. Mm. And I, I, I stood out all my life. I think now in Lagos, I'm finally blending in comfortably because I feel like the weary in Lagos is a different weary. <laughs> she gets it. How long have you been special. here for? Been here for like eight, eight, eight months. One year. Jesus. Are you serious? You guys are owing me my life. <laughs> I remember that the, the, I saw what your the TikTok. F- the first TikTok you made when you were coming to Lagos. That's one year ago. Whoa. You guys are owing me my life. Do you get what I'm saying? Lagos is like that. It's so quick. I'm not kidding. Whoa. Time flies here. That was a year ago. I remember yeah. saying that like that was yesterday. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. is so funny. Mm-hmm. But honestly, it's been the fastest year of my life. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's been as as fast as it's been, it's been more, definitely one of the most productive years. Mm. Definitely one of the most For sure. inspiring years. Definitely one of the most like... I, I I love that. Like I'm I'm happy. I'm excited to see what's coming next. Actually, like I feel like I've said it before. Like one of my favorite artists right now. Thank you. I just respect people that just want just do anything they want. Like just do it. Like nobody's forcing you to do anything. Just do what you feel like. Exactly works for you. It has mm-hmm. worked once. It has worked twice. Why don't you just build on that and see how you can make yourself a better person instead of trying to do his heat. blend in, trying to be a Lagos body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> I agree. I love that. I love that. I love that. Hello? Once are you awake? I'm awake. I'm awake. Have you checked the page of asking people? I haven't actually. I've been chilling. She didn't give away. Like mad. Are you serious? So it's why I won't get Okay, so that means that we can just split the bill for one. Exactly. And each of us take the party care. So, so, so. Cool, right? So that's just one of the many things that I can do with Go Money. Go Money allows me to track my finances. That way, I know exactly what I'm spending my money on. So now, with the Go Money app, at least you know that you can schedule payments, split bills, track your finances, and send money to your family and friends using the payment links. So download the Go Money app on Apple Store, Play Store, and back in this. So, I'm excited. Like I said, I want to see what you're going to do next. But lock in your socials here. Here. Okay. Yeah. So, you can follow me. Is what you're Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can follow me in on Instagram at bloody underscore underscore CIV. And pretty much everywhere else, Twitter. Um, I think that's my TikTok. TikTok? Yeah. Yeah. I have Snapchat, but it's right. bloody CIV. <laughs> and I don't post. Mm. So. so your Snapchat, well, you said you don't post, but is it kind of like your own personal thing? Do you have that personal I just know. I just don't know how it works. Okay, you know what? It's I'll, very confusing. I'll take it upon myself to teach you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate All right. it. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Gen Next. This is final episode. I'm so happy I could, I'm so happy that like we did this as the last episode. This is the final episode of Gen Next. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Oshikaya Speaks. Bye.